you look at the entire experience, you see we're stabilized basically with where we were before we had this dramatic increase. Uh, and one of the things we've learned through this is uh, smart wins. It's not about politics. It's not about emotion. You're dealing with a virus. The virus doesn't respond to politics. The virus doesn't have an ideology. The virus isn't red or blue. It is a virus that is attacking people. It's about science. It's about numbers. It's about data. Uh, and smart wins the battle. If you follow that guidance and that theory, uh, we're always looking at and researching the numbers, where are the cases coming from, how do we reduce the numbers. You look all across the country, it's lower income communities, uh, predominantly minority, where we're still seeing an increase in the numbers. Uh, we looked at that in New York City, we did a very extensive research project, and it is true. You can look at where the cases are coming, look at the testing data by geographic area, by zip code, and find out where the cases are coming from. We asked Northwell Health, which is the largest health system in the state, to do a, an extensive test for us. We're in the midst of that test, uh, but we have back about 8,000 tests, which is a very large sample. And uh, the data is very powerful and informs what we're doing going forward. The test was done in New York City because that's where we have the highest predominance of cases. Uh, but in lower income communities, communities of color, we partnered with the faith-based community, with churches, to conduct tests. We found about 27% of the individuals testing positive. 27%, that's compared to the New York City general population of about 19%, okay? The Bronx had the highest percentage, 34%, again, compared to a citywide average of 19% then Brooklyn, then Manhattan, then Queens. Staten Island was right at the New York City uh, overall number. Uh, but you take a place like the Bronx, it's 34% compared to 19%, just to give you an idea. And the data shows not just a high positive, not just that a high number of people had the positive, uh, but the spread is continuing in those communities, and that's where the new cases are coming from, okay? And you can literally do that on a zip code basis. The, for example, Morrisania in the Bronx, 43% of the people tested positive, 43%, compared to New York City general average of 19%. Hospitalization rate, 3.2 people for every 100,000. Compared to 1.8, it is double the hospitalization rate, okay? So be smart. Let's use the numbers, let's research. Where are people who are infected? Where are the new cases coming from? Where is the spread continuing? Low-income communities, communities of color. Uh, they tend to be high Latino, high African-American population. And we're seeing that pattern continue in zip codes, lower income, predominantly minority. Brownsville, Brooklyn, 41%, double the city average. That happens to be 80% African-American, but again, uh, just about double the rate of hospitalization. So that's where the cases are still coming from. That's where the virus is still spreading. Uh, but again, you look at the data, you see it uh, over and over again by zip code, by select communities within the city. Uh, my old neighborhood, Hollis, Queens, 
35% compared to 19%. So it's all across the city, less than Staten Island, higher in communities of color and lower income communities.